Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in to another video with me, Ms. Diana. Today is gonna be a very exciting video because today we are going to be doing a sight word spelling quiz. All right, and everybody, absolutely everybody and anybody is welcome to join us. Uh, but especially my class because you guys in my class do a spelling quiz every single week, right? So you guys already know how it's gonna go, but I'm going to explain how we're gonna do this to everybody who's watching, all right? So let's get started. Okay, so first thing I want you guys to do is to get a piece of paper for yourself, okay? And if you need help, definitely have your parents or whoever's with you help you out, okay? Now, if you don't have the paper that has the dotted lines that we use in a class, it's preferred to use that paper, but if you don't have it, it's okay. You could just use a regular paper without the lines. And at the top of the paper, we're gonna write the word name, right? This is how we write name. And then we're gonna make a line after that because this is where our name is gonna go. So as you guys can see, I already wrote my name, I wrote Diana, because that's my name. And I just want to go over quickly that when we write our name, the first letter must always be a capital letter, right? Because that's the rule. Everybody's name has to start with a capital letter. So my name starts with a D, and it's a capital D right over here. And then the rest of the letters of your name are all lowercase letters. So lowercase I, A, N, A. My name Diana. So go ahead and write your name now. Okay. All right. Awesome. So then what we're going to do is we are going to number our paper from 1 to 20 because I'm going to give you guys 20 sight words today, right? Like we normally do in class. Now, I want you to number it from 1 to 10. This is gonna be the first column. It's going from top to bottom, right? It's working down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the second column is gonna be right over here. It's gonna be from 11 all the way to 20. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You can go ahead and pause this video to complete all these numbers now. And then when you're ready, you can just unpause it and come back to me. All right, awesome. And then we are going to have one of our parents or adults who's next to us help us make these lines, right? I want you guys to make sure you have these lines because these lines are gonna keep us keep our words straight when we're writing, right? That way we're gonna know exactly where we should write. Okay, now just a reminder, I wanna remind everyone that when we write our sight words, we are using lowercase letters, right? That's number one, that's rule number one. And secondly, make sure you guys are staying on the lines when you write your sight words. Now, as you can see here, I went ahead and I already wrote the first sight word just to show you how I want you guys to write it, right? So, who knows what this sight word is? I hope you all know what this sight word is. This is a sight word all, right? Okay, so I went ahead and I wrote it here just to show you guys. It's A-L-L. -L. And do you see that they're all lowercase letters and it's straight on this line, right? Okay, that's how I want you guys to try to write it. Stay neat and stay on the line, okay? Awesome, all right, so let's begin. I have my sight words ready to go and I will be telling you what the sight word is as well as giving you guys a sentence that has that sight word in it so you guys can better understand the sight word, okay? Hopefully that helps you a little bit. Now, if you do not remember how to write a specific sight word, and you just forgot or you're nervous, it's totally fine, guys. Please don't be nervous and don't stress out. If you forgot how to write a sight word, just go to the next one, skip it, or just give it your best shot. Even if you get it wrong, at least you tried, right? That's what I always say. I always say, just try, okay? All right, so here we go, let's begin. Number one, as you guys already know, number one is sight word all. All. So go ahead and write that word. And I'm going to give you a sentence with the sight word all. 
all of us love to play in the park. All right, that's number one. Let's go to number two. All right, number two is going to be my, my. And the sentence is, my favorite color is green. All right, so that's number two. Make sure you're writing it. Okay, awesome, guys. So the third sentence, I mean, the third sight word is going to be she. All right, number three is she. Here's the uh, sentence with the word she. She is a very good girl. She is a very good girl. All right. Go ahead and write that word. I'll wait. All right. Remember, if you forgot it, totally fine. All right. Number four. Number four is what? Okay. Now, this is what. Sight word what is usually usually not always but it's usually the word we use to ask a question right so i'm going to give you an example what are you doing today what are you doing today okay so that's number four give you a minute okay all right let's keep going guys number five we're up to number five number five is boy the sight word is boy. And here we go with the sentence. The boy is sitting next to me in the class. The boy is sitting next to me in the class. Okay, that's number five, right? Boy is number five. All right, let's keep going. I'm sure you guys are all doing great, okay? All right, number six. Now we're up to number six. The number six word is going to be and, and. All right, here we go with the sentence for the word and. My mom and dad love me very much. My mom and dad love me very much. So go ahead and write that word now. That's our number six, right? And, number six. All right. Give you another five seconds and then we're gonna continue all right here we go i think we're ready to move on all right number seven the number seven sight word is going to be two all right but before you write it make sure you understand which two we are going to be using in this case that's why it's very important to listen to the sentence that i'm going to give you okay because we've learned different kinds of two so here's the sentence for the sight word two my favorite color is green too my favorite color is green too or let me give you another sentence to get you to understand it even better I love to go to the store with my mom too. All right, remember, that's the one that we're putting at the end of the sentence. So think about it. Think how we write this too. And I'm gonna give you five more seconds to write the word too. You guys are all doing great. Don't give up, okay? Like I always say, just keep going. If you don't remember how to write a word, skip it try your best and just keep going all right now we're moving on to number number eight right okay number eight the next word is going to be c all right c and here's the sentence for c i see you playing with the dolls all right i see you playing with the dolls c that's number eight all right, number nine, number nine. Here's an easy one that I'm sure you guys all know really, really well. All right, the sight word is I, all right, I. And here's a sentence for you. I love to go to school. I love to go to school. Number nine is I, right? All right. How are we doing so far? Are we doing good? Thumbs up? 
Awesome. All right, guys, we're almost halfway there. We're almost halfway there. All right, the next word is go. Go. Okay, um, so here is a sentence with the word go. I go to the park with my parents. I go to the park with my parents, right? Okay, that's number 10. We're halfway there, guys. We have 10 more left. So you guys are doing awesome. Keep up with the great work. All right, number 11. Moving on to number 11. This sight word is you, all right? Not the letter U, right? Not the letter U, but U as in our sight word U. We've learned it, so I'm sure you guys all know it. But let me give you a sentence. You are my best friend in the whole world. You are my best friend in the whole world. All right, that's number 11, okay? Let's keep rolling. We're zooming right through this. Okay, number 12. Number 12 is like. Like. All right, here's the sentence for like. I like to eat cereal in the morning. I like to eat cereal in the morning. So go ahead and write like. And remember guys, if I'm going a little too fast and you're not able to keep up with me, don't forget your parents or whoever's next to you can always pause the video or you can pause the video, take your time, write the word, and then just unpause and continue, okay? I hope I'm not going too, fa uh, too fast, but just in case I am, just pause whenever you need to, okay? All right, so that was 12. Number 12 was like. Now we're gonna move on to 13. Now we're gonna move on to number 13. All right, here we go. Number 13 is going to be me, me. Okay, and I'm gonna give you a sentence that's gonna be a question with the word me. Do you want to play with me? Do you want to play with me? Okay, that's number 13. I'm sure you guys all know that one. All right, how are we doing so far? Everyone's still with me, I hope, right? Okay, awesome. All right, guys, we're almost, almost there. Was, number 14 is was. All right, and here is the sentence for the word was. I was in school last month. I was in school last month. Was, right? Okay, moving right along. Number 15, have. The sight word is have, right? Have. And here goes the sentence with the word have. Let's see. Hmm. We have two cats and one dog in my house. We have two cats and one dog in my house. All right, go ahead and write that word. Go ahead and write have if you di didn't write it yet. And let's keep rolling. All right, this one's an easy one again, okay? The next one, number 16, is A. That's it, A. And here's the sentence for the word A. I have a very nice toy car. I have a very nice toy car. All right, that's number 16, right? That's number 16. All right, we're almost there. Let's move on to number 17 now. All right, the next sight word is going to be the the okay and here's the sentence for the the boy is very tired after a long day of work the boy is very tired after a long day of work like school work right <laughs> i'm sure you guys get tired after a long day of school work all right that was number 17 and that was the word the all right, guys, we got three more, three more. All right, number 18 is going to be R. 
R. And remember, not like the letter R, right? But the sight word R. So let me give you a sentence to help you remember and understand R, just in case you forgot it. And also, sometimes we use R to ask a, set, a question, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a question. Are you going to the store with me? Are you going to the store with me? Right, ask the question. Number 18 was R. All right, we got two more and then we're gonna go ahead and check our answers. Okay, number 19. Number 19 is they. They. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the sentence now. All right, they are playing in the snow. They are playing in the snow. Okay, go ahead and finish that one up. All right, ready for our number 20 for our last sight word for today? Last but not least, it's we. The sight word is we. All right, go ahead and write that word and I'm gonna give you a sentence now. We are so happy to be in school again. We are so happy to be in school again. And I just thought of that sentence because I can't wait for us all to go back to school again and see each other, right? I'm sure we're all gonna be very, very happy when that day comes. I miss you guys. I hope you're all staying safe. All right, so we just finished this 20th word, which is we, right? Okay, so we just finished the 20th word, which is we. Okay, now we are going to take our words, take our piece of paper that has our words on it, and we are going to have a parent or whoever's next to us help us check our answers, right? So I have all the sight words that I just gave you guys on these little index cards, right? And I'm actually gonna show you every single word that you just wrote and you're gonna check them with me, right? Okay, and remember, if you get something right, you can put a little check next to your word, and if you get something wrong, you can put a little X, okay? But that's totally fine if you get it wrong. Don't be upset with yourself, okay? The main thing is that we're just practicing, okay? All right, so the first word was all. This is how we write all. If you got it correct, go ahead and give yourself a check. If you got it wrong, you can go ahead and put a little X, right? Number two is my, this is my, okay? Number three is she, this is how we write she, right? All right, number four is what? This one's a tricky one. A lot of you guys always get confused about this word, right? So make sure you're paying close attention to it. This is what? All right, W-H-A-T. Okay, number five is boy, right? This is how we write boy. Number six is and. This is how we write and. All right, so far so good? All right, let's keep going. Oops, number seven is two. This kind of two, right, with the double O. Mm-hmm. Let's see how many of you got this one right. I hope everyone got it right. All right, number eight is C. All right, this is C. Number nine is I. This is I, just one letter, right? I. Number 10, go. This is how we write go. Number 11 is you. This is the word you. Number 12 is like. This is the word like. All right. Number 13 is me. This is how we write me. All right, let's keep rolling. Number 14 is was. This is was, right? Sight word was. This one's also a tricky one that a lot of you guys always fall for, right? 
because this one, you can't pronounce this one. You just have to know it, right? Some sight words, you just have to know, right? You can't pronounce them no matter how hard you try. That's why they're called sight words, right? Because you just have to remember how to write them. And if you see them, you just have to know what they are, right? Okay. The next one is have. This is number 15, have. Another tricky one. But I'm sure you guys all got it. All right, this one's an easy one. This is A. Number 16 is A. All right. Number 17 is the. The. You guys all get this one right all the time. All right, this one is 18. R. This sight word is R. Almost there. Number 19, they. This is they. And last but certainly not least, number 20 is we. This is we. All right, give yourselves a hand, guys. I'm sure you guys all did really, really well. All I ask is that you try your best each and every time you write the sight words, right? And even if you got a bunch of them incorrectly, that's totally, totally fine. All right, just keep practicing with your parents, keep practicing with your grandparents or whoever is with you. You can practice even by yourself, writing them and reading them and going over them. And you can take this quiz with your parents as many times as you want. The more, the better, okay? I just want you guys to know that no matter what, I'm so, so proud of you. And I cannot wait to see you guys again soon. All right, thank you all so much again for tuning into this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye everyone.